Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirch with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and today I wanted to let you know that QuickBooks Online Accountant Recertification is now open today. As of this video, May the 6th, 2024 is the first day that you can actually go into your QBOA training portal and work on your recertification. So before we actually jump into the content here, I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel, share it with others, or at least click on the notification bell so that you will know when new videos are uploaded. My goal is to upload a new video per week to my YouTube channel. And you don't necessarily have to be an accountant user to like and subscribe to my channel or even to watch the videos. We welcome anybody that wants to be a part, even though I kind of gear all my, or most of all my content to the accountant users. But if you're a regular user, you'll probably learn something as well. So with that said, I am in the training tab of my pro advisor realm. And so when you go into the training tab of your pro advisor realm, the first thing you'll see is a pop-up that you'll have to get out of the way. But then you'll also see where it says right over here, recertification is now open. Now you don't necessarily want to click on this button right here yet. That will take you to the actual recertification exam. And we don't want to do that straight out of the gate. But what you may want to do is click on this learn more button. And what that will do is it will take you to an article that Jacqueline Anku, who is the director of training and certification for the Intuit training and provisors group, she has written an article that will give you a little bit more information about the window to recertify and some of the other things. And I'm not going to go in and some FAQs and I'm not going to go through all that. So I'm going to put that link in the description so that way you'll have it. So I'm going to switch over back to the training tab here. And we're going to talk a little bit about where you can go. So what you're going to do is you want to click on the training library here. And that's going to take you straight to the product training area. So... I was in this earlier, so this collapse button is no longer collapsed. But when you go into it, you're going to see that hopefully the first thing listed on here, if this is applicable to you, is the QuickBooks Online recertification. Now, when you click on this bar, it's going to open this up like you saw when I first got on here. Now, this is where you actually go in here and do the training. You can actually also go and take the exam from here. But you can also sign up for webinars that will allow you to go through and watch some demonstrations of these things that you're going to be tested on. And if you click on this link right here, there's various trainings. The, the first one starts tomorrow and you have to sign up for two separate sessions if you are advanced certified. So we have the basic skills, which is the uh, regular prep. And then we have the advanced exam prep. So if you're advanced certified, you're going to want to sign up for both sessions. And like I said, there's various ones that they have throughout the next few weeks until the June 30th deadline. So even if you don't actually attend the webinars, you will be able to access the recordings and the handouts that they have. So it's always a good idea to at least sign up for them, even if you cannot attend. So let's go back to the On Demand tab here. And I'm going to click on this little card here to get us into the recertification area. Now, if you are advanced certified, then you're going to see two sections here. You're going to see the intermediate skills and the advanced skills here. All right, so what I'm going to do and there's also an introductory video that Jacqueline did. So that way you can watch that at your leisure. But I'm going to go ahead and click on the intermediate skills first. And I'm going to scroll up here. And these are all the areas that you're going to be tested on. There looks like six areas that you're going to be tested on for this test. Now, don't confuse the CPE assessment for the actual research assessment. The CPE assessment, once you complete all these lessons here, you'll be able to take a short little test to get one CPE credit for completing all these lessons here. But that's not the same as research. So just keep that in mind. There's also something here that you can download, which in recent years, you haven't been able to be able to do this through the on-demand training, which is kind of neat. So I'm going to close this back up. And then we're going to go down here to the advanced skills. And you have to complete this section in order to be able to keep your advanced certification. 
And again, the same principle, you go through all these lessons here, and then it unlocks the CPE assessment. Again, not the same as being taken the recertification test, that's separate. But you will get one CPE credit once you are able to go through all this training and unlock this assessment. So with that said, uh, make sure that you go through and, and do these trainings. And my suggestion would be to actually sign up for the webinars. If you can go to the webinars, then that's great. You will get CPEs for those. You won't get double CPEs, so, but you'll get one or the other. So if you want to go through the webinar and then hit on the on-demand lessons, you can do that. Just depends on what, but if you, if you want to go ahead and learn either way, you can. It, it's really flexible. So anyway, I wish you all success and make sure you get all this done by June the 30th. So anyway, that's all I have. You'll have a wonderful day. Take care. We will see you soon.